Lady Anquinette, Lady, uh, Lady Dina, and uh, what am I? Sir? Lord. Sir. Lord Jason. Sir. We could be a, a duchess or a countess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's you so could. many titles to choose yes. from, all of which it seems Kate Middleton has inherited. Mm -hmm. The list is long. <laughs> Baroness. Are you in there somewhere? Dutch, I, I know. <laughs> you have to stick your nose in the air like a proper oh, aristocrat. Here, I'll tilt it back there you a little bit. Is that better? I think you have to tilt it. you got to wear the hat. You know, you can't be shy. Right. you got to wear it. There. Cool. It comes with its own, you know. And where did you guys get these hats? All the yeah, where do the hats come from? From Sean Lee, my producer. Right. <laughs> she looks fabulous in the hats. Q and I are trying to do them mm -hmm. proud, do her proud. Well, from heads of states like you to uh, royals and celebrities, the royal wedding is the hottest ticket, of course, in London. It was broadcast to millions of people this morning. Ooh. Camilla looks surprisingly lovely. Camilla Parker Brook. We're going to get Blackie hats later, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, couple <laughs> You guys sit there wearing those. Right, I know. Well. Boxes. Craig Boswell is in the thick of the wedding celebration in foggy old London town. Little uh, powwows together, so that's very nice for her to give her. So show her the ropes, I guess. And, and you know, speaking of Camilla, it was part of the reason they said it took William so long to prepare. What his mother went through, how mm. devastated she was during mm -hmm. all of that time. And so he didn't know if Kate... Will Kate be able to handle this spotlight? And does he want to bring that to her world? She's a commoner. Right. You know, well, she comes from a middle class family. Not any longer, she's not. Right, oh. Craig Boswell joining us live. Well, reporting live from a. That Buckingham Palace. Imagine disco balls installed. <laughs> what is that? The Queen is actually spending the night elsewhere tonight. Right. With uh, idol cast off Casey coming up on the other side. So we have to get to the break and hurry back. Stay tuned. It's now down to the final five, so they take the stage next Wednesday night at 8 right here on Fox 2. And Idol fans, the top 11 are on tour, coming to the Palace of Auburn Hills August the 7th. Tickets go on sale on May the 13th. I was just going to do that for you if you didn't. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Don't I know, know. I know. Yeah, I got oh, to take a lesson. I need a lesson in I got to be hat. careful. I don't get sliced in the eyeball <laughs> <Right>. over here. <laughs> oh, he was a nice kid. I know a lot of um, Idol fans are sad to see him go, but uh, it's getting good. Getting down to the wire. Who will win it? <laughs> ben. Who's Ben's name? My producer to uh, fit the uh, mood of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're beautiful hats. I think, you know, as long as you tilt them back and get the lighting just right. Mm -hmm. I like yours a lot. I yeah. love the feathers. Oh, yeah, yours looks good. Yeah. We need to go somewhere, Q. Where can we go in our hats? <laughs> we need to go and have high tea. Something. Like Aretha Franklin. And what do you want? At the Townsend. Mm -hmm. You guys should go to the famous Dave's Barbecue and see, <laughs> and see what kind of reaction you get We're over there. We are here, right. Because <laughs> you look too nice to do anything, but go and have some good food. And we have a mugshot contest to talk about right now. Ten minutes. Or you? Mm -hmm. Or you? I don't think we're allowed You're to. You're not eligible. Exactly. Mm. We haven't talked about Charlie Sheen in a while. Do we have to? I don't know. <laughs> so we have a lot of royal stuff over there on the web. In fact, webmaster Dennis Kraniak has something about the, uh, the wave that... Yeah. Um, the future king was was doing. This. Is that a special wave? No, it was just too much like his wife's wave. Jason very found it to be a little flimsy. It was a little on the, uh, uh, as Dennis called it, the tinky winky side from the <laughs> okay. Teletubbies. So, so how would, what, what's the more manly wave? You know, wave? give him the Dan Miller, good night everybody, you know, hey, how's it, you over there, all right, you know, give him a real good see, outside the shoulder blades kingly wave, not, not one like your wife. But see, to me, that's kind of like, go, be gone, <laughs> leave, Get away. it's time for us to do our you know. Angels <laughs> too, Baron and Baroness, <laughs> Duke and Duchess. Yeah. Um, uh, Baroness Carrick Fergus. And the herky-jerky. Countess of uh, Strathern. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it does get a little silly, doesn't it? Well, here in the States, we're already oh, we looking ahead to the next presidential election. Did you hear what Donald Trump had to say about Ooh, our leaders? In a speech in Vegas, Trump ripped into how the country wastes money in war. We go to Afghanistan. Tension mm -hmm. ...and uh, are not probably well-researched, but yet it's like the birther debate. It right. could certainly stir people up, mm -hmm. and he's entertaining. Is he really going to be president? No, of course not. Well, you know, I, I never say never. I just, I... I say never. 
Well, Nobody could have I, ever not, imagined Jesse the Body Ventura would be the governor right. of Minnesota or Schwarzenegger mm -hmm. would be governor of California. Or Ronald Reagan, who starred in monkey movies, would be president. Right, that's you know, true. We, we live in, in a cult of personality. And you have more and more people who watch more reality TV than they watch dramas. You have more people who get their news from sources like The Daily Show than, um, you know, Fox News Channel or things like that. So I don't, I don't know. I, it's... I'm not uh, saying he couldn't be elected. I'm saying I don't think he really wants that job. I think he likes stirring things up, though. So. Oh, I think that for an ego trip, he would love that job. <laughs> I, I think that, yeah, he, he would love to have it's a it. tough job. Oh, yeah. Look at how, how, look at every president. In two years, their hair goes from a nice, like, rich brown <laughs> color or black color to, to white. Like exactly. bags yeah. under the eyes. Yeah, grow Bill Clinton turned elderly mm -hmm. in the Oval, he did. Oval Office. Yeah, it, it is stress that none of us could ever imagine. I'm sure. Yeah. I so. don't think Donald Trump wants that job for real. But I think he likes uh, shaking things up and yeah. he loves all the attention. Well, Rick's on audio today. I like what you referenced, cult of personality. Maybe we can get some mm -hmm. living color. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> that's a good hit. That's a good 80s oh, we got a new flashback. Yeah, yeah, we got a new gizmo with a whole big track of songs on there, so a catalog mm -hmm. of songs. It looks like Two and a Half Men will go on without Charlie Sheen, kind of like The Office without Steve Carell, which he was. It's a groove of night, and I can show you how to use it. To come along with me and put your mind at ease. Hey, a little less conversation, a little more action, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Alan. So you heard about these guys like 12 days ago, 16 days ago, whatever it's been. Um, went to LaGuardia Airport and said to a cabbie, will you drive us to L.A.? Yeah, because they had never really seen the country and they wanted to see it from the back of a cab. <laughs> the guy initially wanted $30,000. I don't blame him. For the outstate uh, rate. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and they said, no, we're not going to pay you that. And he said, how about 4000 And then the cabbie says, I'll do it for five. And oh, we wow. leave. we leave right now. So the cabbie had to call his family and say, I'm leaving right now. I wonder if he, how much money he made off that deal. I doubt. I'm thinking not so much. Well, I'm going back places. too, right. They were in an escape hybrid, so they got good oh, gas okay. mileage, right. and folks at the, the glass house in Dearborn are loving it. Take a look. Hmm. And never get in a cab again. Right. <laughs> all the way to California, all almost all the way back. Dearborn, the cab stays there. The guys fly home to New York, and then the guys, the engineers at Ford, are going to get in there and mm -hmm. poke around and see what makes this hybrid cab so special. At what point did they say, bring the cab back to Dearborn so we can check it out? Uh, well, Ford heard of the story. The, the uh, Denuncio there, the, um, the manager for Ford Electric mm -hmm. Hybrid, she saw it online, I think it was, and they tracked him down through the TV station that originally did the story okay. in New York and hmm. they said, hey, why don't you bring the cab to Dearborn? And So that was never part of the plan. That no, was no, when they set out, no, yeah. that, was a, that was Ford spying an opportunity and, right. and mm -hmm. good on them. Yeah. We're right. talking to us. Hey, it is that time of year. Yeah. He is the robot, 24-7. Have a good Friday, everybody. Congratulations.